All right, so in this video, I'm going to go through 2.1, since I have seen a lot of problems in here, uh, to let you know how to get the output F in terms of uh, the inputs and also how to simplify all these Boolean algebra expressions. So let's take a look at 2.1 first. So uh, start from the beginning, from the left to right, okay? So that will be A not or B, and the result will be inverted, right? And uh, and B, so it's A not or B invert, and B, and then the entire thing will be inverted, right? And the result will end the C, and the entire thing here need to be or with B. Okay, so now let's think about how, how we can simplify this thing. Uh, so for this part, uh, we can use De Morgan's law, which is uh, split the bar and change the sign. So this part will become uh, A bar bar and B bar. So invert on the top. B and C and B. However, you can see that you can combine this two underneath the entire bar. So actually you are getting a zero here and zero and something is still zero and being inverted will be one. So literally F equals to B and C. That's the final result for the first one. So that's A. Now let's look at B. What's going on there? So B will be A and B. If you look at here, A and B and B inverted. So it will be wait, A and B being inverted. Uh, and the entire thing will end, and what? And B or C. All right, and the entire thing will be inverted, and finally, and what? And C, which is G, finally. Uh, so the first consideration is still the Morgan's law. And now let's see what we can do. Um, because you can see that if you apply the Morgan's law to this part, you are getting a A bar or B bar. And you can imagine that if you uh, expand this part, um, yeah, let's do it. You don't want to just describe it, then you are not seeing anything. So let's apply the Morgan's law for the, for the bigger bar on the top first, because you can, you can cancel this bar here. Uh, I think you can do either way, but let's do that first. So that will be A, B, bar, bar, or B or C, bar. And this will be um, A, B, or B, bar, C, bar. And C. I can imagine that C and this part will be zero. So this is actually nothing. And finally, it just expand it, which will be A, B, C. So that's the final result for uh, B. And let me see if I can expand this page. Probably not. Let me save it somewhere.
and I'm going to start a new one. So for C, you'll see that uh, uh, it's W bar, X bar, and K, and this is pretty simple actually. Let's run through that. So which is W bar, and X bar, it's a, uh, so not inverter first, so inverter first and then ungate, and the entire thing will end Y bar or Z bar. So this is unlogic. And then invert everything here on the top. So that will be H. So this equals to what? Let's take a look, see if we can simplify it. Um, so this is still De Morgan's law and see what's going to happen. So do, do it uh, at the bottom for W and X first. Uh, it becomes this. And this becomes Y, Z bar. bar and w or x bar bar or y z bar bar all right so you can cancel the, uh, the, the inverters this is whenever you are canceling a bar which means you are uh, reducing the number of gates being used in the chip right so you are uh, reducing the size or the footprint of the circuit um, taking in inside a chip you don't have enough you don't have too much space in the chip. You want to you know, simplify that as, as much as possible. And this becomes this. So one OR gate. And one AND gate and another OR gate. Okay. I don't think you can simplify this further, but I can see that you are elim elim eliminating all these uh, inverters, uh, which is pretty useful as well. You can imagine that finally it's going to be something like this or logic and uh, YZ. It's an unlogic, and the result is being ORed, so we're getting H. You compare this circuit to this, you can see that you are reducing like five gates in the circuit. It's still pretty uh, significant. So that's how I do this do uh, these problems. And uh, for 2.2, when you are trying to design, not design, actually, just implement all these uh, logic gates, uh, this is pretty simple because you, you don't have to do a simulation. You know, summarize the truth table for the following uh, logic gates uh, to the truth table and also to a gate symbols. Okay, they just uh, uh, summarize the logic and draw the gate symbols, and that's it. And for 2.3, uh, you are going to derive all these uh, results. Uh, like, I think I covered this in the lecture notes. So just uh, look, watch, the, watch the video and look at the notes. Uh, when you are working on this problem, if you have any problems, you know, do, do not do not try to look at the uh, solutions I provided to you guys. Um, try to uh, memorize it first or understand it first, and then do it on your own. Okay, so you can learn the the most from this. Uh, for this one, I already provided the NAND gate. But when you are getting your AND gate, you may not directly use the gate level circuit to form the AND gate, you know? uh, because in the, you know, when you are designing a circuit, you want to start from the very bottom level and build a symbol out of it. This is also what I ask in this problem. See, you need to uh, modify the NAND gate below to make it into an AND gate and also uh, build an AND gate and make it into a symbol. So, which means,
what you want to do is, for example, for Ange, right? So you can do a Nange really easily like this. So that's a Nange. But when you are designing an AND gate, you want to use this exactly this circuit and directly connect this one to an inverter. This is how you do it in integrated circuit design. So this is V high, right? This should be V low. And wrap up this entire thing to a symbol. And simulate from here but not you don't want to do it in the other way so do not do it like this so for example you already have your NAND gate right and you are trying to use a NAND gate and directly being connect to an inverter to make up an AND gate um, so you don't want to directly do this in your schematic. Okay? That's another thing you need to know. And uh, for the OR gate, you know, pretty similar. I just want to put everything, the transistor level circuit into one symbol. And then wrap it up and make a new symbol. Because if you do it like whatever I showed you previously, that's not a... Uh, a gate. It is a circuit. You want to make one gate, one single gate. Okay, so this is a very quick review for homework two. Uh, if you still have any problems or questions, feel free to shoot me an email and uh, I will get back to you as soon as I can. All right, that's it for this review.